Hi there, and welcome to another KWM Tasting Note with me, Andrew. Uh, so today we're trying Bodegas Muga uh, White Rioja from the 2022 vintage. Uh, so Bodegas Muga, they date from 1932, so they've got quite a bit of experience and age on them. Um, they're regarded as one of the sort of opponents of more traditional style Riochas and very well thought of and regarded uh, in both Spain and around the world for the quality of the wines that they produce. Uh, they produce wines right across the spectrum, whites, roses, reds, um, Grand Reserves like the Prado Enea, the, the single uh, special uh, bottlings like the Aro, the Torre Muga, things like that. You'll see them all on our website if you want to check out their range. Well, we're tasting the white now at the moment. Fresh Vintage 2022, this is a bit blend of uh, traditional Spanish varieties, Fayura, uh, Macabeo and Malvasia in there as well. So Fayura is the key grape variety, white grape variety for this part of Spain. Typically white Rioja in the past would have often been over oaked. Um, the, the Spanish have really moved away from that now. They still use oak in the process, uh, but they're much more uh, careful how they use it. Uh, to give it more freshness, more drinkability in the actual wine. Now we've had this wine over several vintages and it's always been an absolute stunner I must say. Um, the grapes for this are all hand harvested. They come from the, the, Rioja, the, the Rioja Alta and uh, Rioja is up here, so sort of quite close to Bilbao in the north but it's protected from the Atlantic by the Sierra Cantabria mountains uh, which protects it from all those Atlantic uh, weather systems and that. Um, so this is, comes from clay soils, hand harvested, barrel fermented. Now barrel fermented is not necessarily lots of oak on your wine. Barrels come in all shapes and sizes and formats and a lot of the, the fermentation for this particular one goes into large format uh, barrels. There is some smaller French barriques added in there as well and then it spends about four months on these to get a bit of lee stir and add a bit of texture. So we'll take a look at it. Um, color wise it has a little bit of that sort of light straw color, slightly green on the on the edge of it as well, but it has a little bit of color. Moves around the glass a little bit of weight, which is good. Nose. So it's quite expressive straight away. Sometimes with these Spanish grape varieties they can be quite neutral, uh, but there's a nice sort of peach element straight away, you get these sort of white flowers coming through. A little touch of spiciness, touch of vanilla maybe coming through there, probably with your barrels uh, aging. And then you get this nice um, licorice sort of fennel element almost, which I think is very distinctive with Spanish white wines, you do get that sort of fennel element coming through quite a lot. Mmm, delicious. Mm. Straight away when you when it enters the palate, you just feel the, the balance to the wine and the texture. It cleans out a lot of lovely sort of lemony grapefruit acidity. Really, really nicely rounded palate. It's a quite a versatile style of wine. Um, it will go with your chicken dishes, your salads, um, fish, of course. Uh, but a lovely example of modern white Rioja, I would suppose, in, in that sense, where it's got all the fruit and it's got the oak influences in there, just adding a little bit of sort of salt and pepper to the to the, the final wine, I suppose. Lovely glass of wine. If you've never tried white Rioja again. Give Muga White Rioja a go, you'll not be disappointed. It is a lot of wine for your money. And uh, you can see, um, you can buy this on our website uh, anytime. And uh, until next time, cheers.